What's going guys? It's me Kyver and welcome to the very first Tech Cool video this 2021. But first and foremost, I just want to greet each and every one of you who is watching right now a happy, happy new year. So a big clap to ourselves and big pat on our back because we survived 2020. Now with our main agenda on this video, 1080p budget webcams are so in the past. That is because as soon as year 2021 kicks in, Rappo drops their newest budget webcam called the Rappo C280. Now this webcam is the successor to its younger brother, the C260. And what's good about this webcam is it just can capture like twice the resolution as what the 260 can, meaning this bad boy can capture up to 2K resolution. For most of you guys who are watching right now, it means that this webcam can capture from 720p up to the 2K resolution, which is 1440p. If I'm correct, yeah, 1440p. <laughs> I'm, I'm having a hard time. Just 2K resolution. Before we proceed to the specification of this webcam, make sure that you are subscribed to this channel and you have tick the notification bell icon beside it so you will be notified every time that I'll be releasing a video. Also, let's aim for a 20 likes, meaning you should have pushed the like button on this video already. Now with the specification. As what you can see on your screen, there's nothing fancy that is like quite breathtaking about the C280 aside from 2K resolution. Also, you will notice that its field of view is rated around 85 degrees, but as I tested it out, it is quite close to 100 degrees, so just take note of that. Now, a side-by-side -side comparison by its younger brother, the C260. Now that it's out of the way, let's proceed to the actual video test or video quality of the C280. But take note guys that this video is being rendered at 1080p resolution. Don't worry, there will be a side-by-side -side comparison of what would be the quality when you use the C280 on 1080p and on 2K resolution. But of course, that will be downscaled to 1080 so take note. Since it's new year, I decided to mix things up with my testing. So I've removed the bright monitor light source and replaced it by a much more powerful one, which is the natural light coming from your window. So I'm just going, going to call it the window light. On this first clip, you will notice that the only light source that I have is the window light. Moving on, I decided to put a shade on the window light, meaning a diffuser or a curtain. This is the video quality that you will be getting. Now we move on to a much familiar background or, you know, ground, <laughs> which is the room light and the ring light. Just like my previous videos, this is the quality that you are getting with the light source of the room light and the ring light. The ring light is still placed at the far right of my workstation. Let's remove the room light. Now that you've seen what it can do with those lighting conditions. This is the side-by-side -side comparison of the 1080p resolution versus the 2K resolution of the C280. If you're going to ask me, there is not much of a difference between the 1080p quality and the 2K, so I will suggest just use the 1080 so you, your computer or PC won't have a hard time rendering it. Since it's a new year, New testing, new video, new setup. I'll give you a much close scenario on how you'll be using it for streaming or how the majority of the streamers uses their webcam. What you can see on your screen is basically how it's gonna look like when you're streaming. Also, a very first on this channel, a webcam built-in microphone test. Okay, so this is an audio test of the Rappo C280. Mic test, check mic, one, two, three. What do you guys think? Is it okay for its price point or not? Well, for me, I would say this is the best contender for this year as of right now because this is the first webcam that I was able to review. That is because of this one simple thing. When you set it up in OBS, 
and closes OBS after tinkering with the settings, it actually retained the settings that you set up before you close it. Compared to the other budget webcams like Red Dragon and Fantech, where after you tinker your settings in OBS, then close it, then when you relaunch OBS, the settings is set to default again. With this webcam, those settings are saved even though you close OBS. So that's a plus points for the Rappel C280. Now, if I'm going to give stars for this webcam, which is actually new, I would rate this as a four star out of five because one, the quality is nice as soon as you fiddle with the settings. And two, the settings that you actually set up to this webcam in OBS is actually being retained even though you close it. So a big plus to the C280. Now I hope that you've enjoyed this video and if you do, press thumbs up and consider yourself subscribing for more videos or tech videos like this. So once again, this is MeGyver saying that I'll be seeing you soon to the next video. Bye!